Good morning, folks. We've got a lot to cover from beneath our feet to the edge of the solar system with more info from behind the scenes. But first, we are going over to spaceweathernews.com and seeing that it is still SDO eclipse season. This is normal, expected, extremely frustrating, but hey, when there's an actual eclipse during this time, you can catch both Earth and Moon blocking out the sun there. Anyway, we're supplementing with Proba 2 images. We've got big coronal holes, filaments, and sunspots, but none are releasing, and it's just the speedy streams to worry about. No Earth-directed eruptions, but the plasma filament incoming could be worth watching, along with the new sunspot group, which remains a monster, but only really in size. For the time being, this guy is magnetically simple and lacking the ability to produce major flares. The solar wind is slightly intensified. Coronal hole stream begins impacting and we're entering a geomagnetic storm this morning. Top news. La Nina ushers in worse conditions for hurricanes in the Atlantic and into the Gulf. This is huge because as the sun shuts down this century, La Nina will be heavily favored. Speaking of storms, apparently the lowest amount of mercury in your air is during a normal rainstorm, but the highest is during a thunderstorm. Interesting read there. And of course, the internet's buffet for the day. The gentlemen who ramped up the Planet X discussions not long ago are at it again. New wide survey revealing new details about Kuiper Belt objects and even adding a few new trans-Neptunian planets. Many orbits followed the same Planet X line that got people excited before, but frankly, that perpendicular one and off-kilter from the rest is one that interests me the most. Then we're in India, where the capital, New Delhi, is flooding. This video came out on YouTube yesterday and claims to be from this storm, but it reminds me a lot of the older images we've seen of similar disasters. Whether or not that latest bus disaster video is new or old, the flooding is real and ongoing right now. Got their amphibious exploring vehicles out, apparently. Next, it's a hurricane rundown. In the Gulf, you're going to watch the run of Hermione with a timestamp at the bottom. Folks, as long as this thing keeps a toe offshore, the rain will be awful, and that's all up and down the coast, with a chance to even swing up at New York City towards the end. Eyes open for 100 million people. Then we're at Hawaii, where one system is trying to steer south and leave the island paradise while it'll be a few more days and into the weekend before that next one arrives. Your September planetary geometry is out. A couple good deeper look episodes the last week and a half. We've got weather and shots of our star to close, but let's take one moment for one last set of reminders here. The disaster prediction app itself is due out this winter. Most highly technical apps like this take a year or two to make and we're on track for much less. If you donated enough to get a shirt or a hoodie, which began at the 150 mark, and if you are one of those last 10 people who didn't get us your size and address, please do so. If you weren't able to get the shirt or hoodie on Kickstarter, but you really want one, the Excess Founders gear is available at otf.cells.com, which is also where you can get our book and tickets to the upcoming conference next April. The much more reasonably priced shirts are found at booster.com s0, going to expand the options here today as well. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.